16 handicap wants to understand why the ball flight will have an occasional fade and sometimes stay straight. Looking at your grip, it is in too weak of a position to start. Try to get the logo of your glove rotated more over the top of the club, and that will have a more closed face bias with your shots. And that is necessary to do the following instruction that we will get into. But playing the swing through, not a ton of sway off, a decent turn, a bit of an excessive shoulder turn to the top, especially for a short club. And with that grip being too weak and in a 10 finger position, that face is going to get stuck open. You manage a fairly decent impact, to be honest, before you do scoop and flip that wrist on the way through, adding dynamic loft and losing distance. So there's a few areas to improve from there, but looking at other pieces just as your setup, your arms look rather tight to the body and hands close to the hips. So if we get the other side view from the down the line, yeah, you're choked well down on this grip, back hunched over a little bit too much, and the arms with a little bit of a bent position. Uh, although relaxed, you want to stretch out your arms a bit more. So try to back up, create a little bit more space, and straighten up your back more from setup. As an example, I've got Rory queued up with a couple angles here. The spine angle and your club shaft angle should be close to a perpendicular position if your spine angle is set correctly. So let's go back to where we were in the beginning with the face on view and draw one line on the lead hip to measure how your body moves. The stance with the untied shoes is a little bit narrow for your stability, but overall lower body doesn't move much as the arms work away from your body. Uh, face here is not too, too bad. Trail elbow begins to bend, uh, lead arm begins to supinate and open up. Hips are now beginning to get the weight shifted and pressure shifted to the back foot. Uh, lower body mechanics aren't too, too bad, but the upper body is just, as we said before, simply gone too far. So that much shoulder rotation will tend to have your upper body swaying off the ball and can be alone a reason for some low point issues. If this is anything lower than an 8 iron, that ball position is likely just a tick too far forward. So watch out for that. The more you turn, the more you can sway off the ball and hit behind it. But you do sort of dive down and get your weight shifting more forward in front of the ball to have a better chance of striking it clean. But the wrist issues of the scoop or flip will ultimately make your angle of attack rather shallow and have, as I said, tons of club face control issues. So the reason you do all of that flipping, scooping, releasing is somewhat tied into the club face angle. And if you were to be in a stronger grip and maintain a more closed face posi position throughout the swing, you are less likely to get as flippy down at the ball. So I think your weight transfer and body mechanics are overall decent enough to work on your wrists and club face first instead. So let's take another look back at your down the line view. Again, try to stand up, create more space by backing up a little bit, and let your arms hang freely. If you're standing taller, your arms will be a little bit higher, and then you might even want to use the full length of the club, gripping down towards the bottom, but not beyond the butt cap that would be right at the end of the club. Uh, continuing on though, using the lines that we have here as your path, and I'll also draw one on the rear end because I think we're going to see some extension in. Let's play it through. Takeaway will begin on a decent path, face here, camera angle is a bit low, but it does look like that face does begin to rotate open just a bit. Continuing up, uh, path, not your problem, you can see a clear view of that split grip, and I think if you were to stop somewhere around your P3 position, which is arm parallel to the ground, you would see a much more consistent path and ball strike. One, your hips have not cleared in off the line too much. Two, your arm, lead arm is close to parallel to the path line. And three, your club is not too far in a bad position here. But the longer you go, the more you disconnect your trail elbow. That club gets really over hinged and open at the top. And you are much more likely to swing that over the top. Uh, your mechanics, though, do try to tuck the elbow back down in and drop the path from the inside. But that face is indeed open at this point, which does require all the flipping. Not enough turn and weight getting shifted, twisted back to the left heel, has your hips thrusting in and spine standing taller, giving you some heely contact, most likely. 
which could explain the occasional fade. Uh, the occasional straight ball is really, you just flipped it in time and squared everything up. So there's a few areas to go. Start with your setup. I think that your mechanics of the body turn will do you well, but work on closing the face and hitting a lot more sh shots lower and to the left. Good luck. Sendaswing.com.